welcome on in welcome to new york city with me laura lee i'm gonna get the instagram set up real quick for us if it loads on me let's cross our fingers we will see okay give me one hot second and then i will be back to start our show Perfect. Instagram is up and running. So hello, Instagram friends. Sadly, I will not be able to see your presence or your comments over on Instagram. The live is happening on our website. So do please head on over to www.luxurypromise.com. That's where you'll be able to shop, chat, interact, all those good things. But welcome in to those of you who are already here with me. Who's here? Say hi. Don't be shy. Let me know. I do not like this camera angle that I'm rocking today. Let's see if I can get that better. Okay. You know, it is what it is, <laughs> but welcome in you guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go over our opening little bits of info, spiel of a deal, if you will. And then we will jump into my new from NYC show, AKA new arrivals that I curated and picked, hoping you guys will like them. I think we have a really, really good mix today. Um, we're going to start off with early bird specials and I have three pairs of watches and then we'll get into bags. Um, halfway through the show, it will switch to me self-moderating, but we're going to use Isabel to our full advantage while she's here with us. So thank you, Isabel. All right. So first and foremost, you guys, we accept all major forms of payment. So credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, and PayPal are all good to go. Um, why am I blinking on my opening spiel of a deal? <laughs> you guys, my brain is just not, it's not computing today. Anyways, okay, we accept all major forms of payments. Your customs and duties are covered if you... <laughs> I have this down to a science normally. All major forms... Of oh, yes. Okay, any item purchased today will probably be shipping out of New York City tomorrow. Wow. Why was that so hard for my brain? And then last but not least, shipping. If you guys are based in America or Canada, North America in general, on my shows, you are considered a domestic customer. So if that's the case, shipping will be a bit cheaper for you at 15 pounds. Literally. <laughs> Isabel, amen, sister. And then if you are outside of North America, shipping will be 35 pounds. However, of course, we cover your customs and your duties. There we go. I got it. In the end, we found our way. You guys, there's 15 of you. Someone say hi. Let me know who's here, who's watching, who's in. This is a new time frame for me. So long story short, I don't know how this stuff works, but I guess this year you guys in the UK don't switch your clocks forward um, the way that we already have here in the USA. So for the next couple of weeks, my shows are now from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time instead of the 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a bit of an adjustment. Today's the first day of that, but that's what my shows are going to be for the next like two, maybe three weeks until the UK changes their clocks as well. But we have the lovely Aqua. How are you? Lucy, absolutely, girl. We have AP, Robin. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Let me do a quick view of the shelves it's mixed brands a little bit of everything we have some watches today i'm obsessed with this gold metallic chanel bucket moment that's happening here but yeah really and this prada has my whole heart honestly so many good picks today so buckle up i hope you guys are ready also i'm in a very rambunctious crazy mood today because i got some really good really exciting news i don't think i can really share too much yet but just know there's the potential of you guys seeing me and my fiance on a very major um, like platform for media. I think TV shows and movies, we might be on something. So I'll share more when I can, but I got that news today and I'm internally freaking out about it. It is top secret. That's all I'm going to say, but just know your girl is over the moon stoked. So please cross your fingers for me. Send me good wishes because if it works out, this is going to be <laughs> probably the craziest thing to happen in my life. So we're going to go through it. Let's start with, I have three early bird specials for you guys to thank you for being here early with me. I'm going to give you first access to what I think are three of the best deals of the day. So let's start there. Then I'll get into these watches. Isabel, I have an AP watch today that you're going to die over and then we'll get into bags. So let's start here. 
This first piece clearly coming with its box and the SKU is 138326. 138326. This is a Louis Vuitton cappuccino wool and silk monogram shine shawl. I'm so excited about this. Hi, Ida. How are you, lovely? Good to see you. This is coming with its box, dust bag, gift ribbon, and retail tag. This is probably the first time I've had a shawl from Louis Vuitton as a true, true, true full set. So very exciting. And this is going to be well below retail. I believe this piece retails around 750 US dollars. So without further ado, this color is absolutely stunning. A moment of commotion. They call it cappuccino. So it's like more of a, oh, it's so rich and shiny and beautiful, but a super light brown, almost bronzy tone, I would say. I know. And the price point on that AP is that it does not make sense. <laughs> All right, so let me show you guys this piece in all of its glory. It is ginormous. This is a proper large shawl from Louis Vuitton. It has a monogram print all over and the edges of the shawl. It does kind of give you a little border there with a little bit of a fringe. This is an excellent condition, literally never used. It has its retail tag still attached onto it. There is your Louis Vuitton label on the scarf as well. And again, this is 60% silk, 40% wool for this piece. We all know a shawl. We all love a shawl. You can wear them as scarves. You can do them up as little tube tops or skirts, cover ups if you're at like the beach, whatever it is. I like wearing them as shirts personally, but also if you're flying, you can kind of use it as a blanket almost to cover up. Home decor, whatever it is, there's so many ways to use this piece. Excellent condition coming as its true, true full set. If anyone's been in need of a really great neutral shawl, this one is that girl. So she is up and available for 485 pounds and that is 620 US dollars for a like new retail tag still on shawl from Louis Vuitton. So give me a quick second. This thing is ginormous. I'm gonna have to try to fold it without taking too much time because this isn't the Laura folding show. <laughs> All right, but let me know if there are any questions. Oh my Lord, I need like two extra arms for this, you guys. There we go. <laughs> oh, I butchered that. Okay, there we go. Fold her up, nice and pretty. All right. <laughs> So next up, I have one wallet, one wallet for today, also coming in its box. What? Okay, so up next, we are going to take a look at 138297, 138297. This is our Louis Vuitton beige and white jacquard since 1854 zippy coin purse. I've actually, Lucy, yes, let me do this real quick and then I can get into a watch for you. I have three watches. Actually, if I can just do one bag first so we get the early birds out of the way, then we'll do all three watches. Give me like five minutes. Um, but yes, I haven't had a wallet from this range, the 1854 collection before, so I'm really excited about this one. Comes with box, dust bag, and it's gift ribbon. Let me open her up. Really cute. Oh my gosh, I love the pop of blue. So this is a like fabric canvas material with a cream tone, of course, Lucy cream tone pattern of the 1854 motif but in this case you also do get the lv so it's kind of a mixture of the two patterns exterior condition is absolutely fantastic with nothing to note hi jennifer i'm doing fantastic today thank you for asking um i hope you're doing great as well then we got this really pretty pale blue exaggerated large kind of like leaf shaped zip pull just a really cute accent color for this so let's open up, dive inside, and you guessed it, the inside is going to be that same beautiful kind of sky blue leather. So you have two back pockets with two card slots each, two big middle compartments, and one more pocket there as well. There's your inner Louis Vuitton logo. This looks to be in excellent condition. Again, it's coming with its box set. So it's solid like 9.8 out of 10. If you need a good wallet, this one's got you. So this is our second early bird special of the day. We'll get that price up momentarily for you guys, but I really love this colorway, something I don't really see come in that often. There we go. And also guys, feel free, if you've been after a certain Louis Vuitton bag, please email me today or tomorrow because Thursday I'm going to do an all Louis Vuitton show. I have a plethora of LV items here to choose from. I've already made some selections, but I was like, oh, 
what if someone wants this size speedy instead of that size speedy so if you have a bag on your mind from louis vuitton shoot me an email so i can make sure i bring it on thursday all right so this wallet as it's set is available for 475 pounds and that is 605 us dollars it's a really great great grab here all right, so I have one crazily priced bag and then we will get into, yes, I know Mimi 100%. I have a like beige vernis Alma BB. I don't think I have any monogram ones currently, but I do have one Alma BB pulled for the show. Hi, Shirley, my love, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna do an early bird bag and then the watches. Here we go. This bag is fantastic. This price point does not make sense to me. It's priced as if it was a wallet, honestly. And the color is so on trend, literally. If you're like me and you scroll Pinterest all the time, we all know that cherry red is still here with a vengeance. It's here to stay throughout the spring and it's just a perfect pop of color to add. So up next, we're going to take a look at 138358. And this is our Louis Vuitton Red Epi Leather Point Nif PM bag. I haven't had the silhouette in a while either. It's one of my favorite kind of like nostalgic Louis Vuitton top handle silhouettes. It's not quite a speedy. It kind of reminds me of a speedy, but it has its own quirks about it. Ellen, how was the business trip? How are you, my love? Welcome on in. All right. So here is a look at this really gorgeous condition. Red epi leather Louis Vuitton bag paired with gold hardware. Look at the shape of this and the vibe. I think it is so, so cute. It's like an everyday grab and go little bit but the condition level is excellent you guys there's no corner wear or wear to the piping the zip pulls are full on shiny gold with no tarnish either so again just to give you an idea isn't she nice is that on the crook of the arm just for size reference this is kind of how it looks when you carry it it's not designed to come with a long strap don't quote me on this actually let me look I don't think it comes with a strap, but you do have the ability to add one if you did want to convert this to a crossbody. It do, does have those um, hardware details that allow you to do so. This is from 2005. I'm shook. She does not look it. <laughs> All right, so this is a multi-compartment bag on its interior. So to dive in, it does kind of open up almost accordion style to where you get actually three big compartments inside so to both exterior you have an open concept half leather half suede lined pocket so you get two of those and then down the middle is where your zip pocket is going to be this comes with its old school louis vuitton dust bag they don't make them like they used to <laughs> and then inside of this bag this is pristine i am shook over this you guys what the heck look at this interior so you get full red lining, literally not a smell, not a stain, no signs of wear to this interior. You have your inner Louis Vuitton logo over here, and then you also get kind of a double inner pocket situation, so you can throw stuff in over here. And then you also get a zip compartment to the front, which is also totally clean. So circa 2005, this is giving pristine vibes. I honestly would give this a nine out of 10 condition level, which is crazy, but like Ellen is saying, epi really holds up so well throughout the years like this has a long long life ahead of it and it's going to stay looking this good for a hot minute thank you chair i was feeling i woke up feeling very 90s today so i was like you know what let me embrace my 90s vibe i got going on all right you guys so this is a crazy crazy deal literally the price of a wallet this red epi louis vuitton bag the point neuf pm is up and available for just 620 pounds which is 795 us dollars she's gorgeous this is so so worth it i'm really hoping someone grabs this because it's just such a good bag great piece to put your money into and enjoy it literally for a lifetime so that is her let me know if there are any questions you guys it would ship out tomorrow for you but that concludes my three early bird specials and that's not saying that there's not still good deals to come i just picked those three as a first little treat for you guys so now let's go through watches before we get back into more bags i'll work our way up to our most pristine watch we're gonna work up you guys <laughs> so let's start with something i would consider pretty much a essential everyday watch and again this piece is going to be from the 90s so it matches my vibe today <laughs> daniela welcome in happy tuesday how are you my love let me grab my gloves real quick i almost forgot my gloves need those gloves okay hi farah 
how are you darling happy tuesday so isa our next piece is 136916 and i'm also just going to quickly pull up this info so oh sorry 136916 i don't know if i said it right let's see here there we go boop, boop, boop. All right, so this is confirmed between 1991 to 1999. She is stunning. It's a unisex watch from Cartier. Here she is. Let me talk a little bit about her before I flip the camera for you guys. Hi, Bon Bon. Thank you. The girls get the vibes, okay? Got black maxi skirt, polka dot socks, white and black situation going on today. Thank you, Bon Bon. <laughs> All right, so this is the Cartier Must de Cartier Tank unisex watch done in gold vermil, hence the more approachable price point on this. This is in excellent condition, recently serviced. I do have to point out that the strap on this is aftermarket. It is just the original Cartier watch itself. As it is right now, it has a genuine lizard, black lizard skin strap with it. But if you would like to switch it out, I can definitely talk to our watch department here and see what other straps we have. I have a couple other options even just in my room. So if you want a different strap, I'd be happy to include it. I might even just give you an extra strap as a gift if you go for this. But this piece is... Doo -doo -doo, it does not include its box or papers, which I'm not surprised as it's vintage. But it is a 25.5 millimeter case width on this with Roman numerals. The band length currently is a seven and a half inches as your maximum length. Excellent condition with a smooth bezel and it is a quartz battery movement. So let me flip the camera for you guys to get a better look. This is just to me like quintessential classic, classic Cartier watch to go for. It's kind of what my brain thinks of when I think of a Cartier watch, pretty much exactly this i love the bold look of the numbers included on this and the kind of edgy slants you get the signature of cartier is right there of course you have the signature blue sapphire to the dial here's a look at the back again this is from the 90s you guys must say cartier gold for meal on this and it is water resistant so if you guys are interested it's a great price on this i figured this was a great choice for an everyday type of watch because I also went a little crazy with some more premium choices which you'll see next but on the wrist it would look a little something like this really classy and classic choice and this piece is up and available for 2,400 pounds which is 3,070 US dollars all right so just two more watches buckle up because these are heavy heavy hitters of watches you guys I couldn't resist showing them to you I know I don't have a watch show planned anytime soon if you guys want me to i could next week but i couldn't resist not showing these three pieces so hope you guys are excited our next watch is going to be 136929 136929 this is a more premium piece from cartier to say the least just for reference you guys i'm gonna tell you that this piece retails for 35 thousand one hundred us dollars thirty five thousand one hundred us dollars is the retail price on this next watch i think i have it for even below twenty thousand us dollars so still i know it's a premium piece but the savings are insane on this all things considered so let me talk to you about her this is the cartier tank anglais the cartier woman's watch in 18 karat white gold excellent condition as well on this um it does not come with its box or papers either which is definitely factored into the price point of this isn't this special robin see absolutely i have a ton of hermes watches here actually so i think maybe next week like next tuesday maybe we'll do a watch show tuesday or thursday we'll do a watch show all right so let me talk to you about this this is a fully original cartier watch it has a butterfly style clasp to the back aka it's kind of hidden and seamless so you just get the look of the band all the way around which i really love and appreciate this measures for a six and a half inch wrist six and a half inches you guys 
Um, excellent condition. The bezel on this is a diamond. You get a big fat diamond to the side there. I have one today, Lucy. Up next, I'm going to show the AP. I have a lot of APs here. I don't show them as much because I know it's more of a niche market and a niche customer who's going to go for the AP, but I have a ton of AP watches. I would encourage you to send me an email. Let me know your budget styles you're after, and I can bring some in my next watch show. We'll do a watch show next week. You guys convinced me. <laughs> all right so this is a quartz battery movement um 22.7 case width on this which is kind of unique and it has a ton of factory original diamonds on it i do have royal oak yes yes all right so here is a look this is a stunning piece look at that diamond you get to the side there diamonds along the side of the watch hi lp fan good to see you isn't this stunning oh this is like a dream dream watch and again it retails for thirty five thousand one hundred us dollars you guys excellent condition with luxury promise watches from me in new york city you get a one-year warranty as well just want to shout that out but i have this piece for the most ridiculous price point all things considered this is 14,200 pounds which is 18,167 us dollars which is crazy so let's get one last beautiful look at her super duper special piece and i'm about to follow it with something even crazier so get ready i'm gonna put this away nice and safe first of course But yeah, any watch requests, you guys, feel free to email me so I can come well prepared next week and bring you the best options I have that match what you are looking for. All right. I'm so excited about this next one. It's crazy. Oh my God. Even just the strap on this. We're going to look at 137195. I don't have any Serpentis today, unfortunately, Natia. I might get some in by next week, but I think I still only have one Serpenti watch available here in New York City. All right, so 137195 is up next. This is a AP, or if I dare to try to say it, Audemars Piget Millinery unisex watch in 18 karat white gold oh my god it comes with extra strap so i'll show you the strap color in a second but this also will come with this like mustard yellow color crocodile strap that is amazing alligator strap alligator mustard yellow strap included with this piece this next one retails for thirty four thousand five hundred us dollars i'm being incredibly incredibly careful comes with its original box papers and instructions so out of all my watches today this is the only one that will be coming as a set i'm going to delicately hold her up while i talk to you about this piece because oh my word you guys so box papers instructions included this is a 39.5 millimeter case width on this piece with a tang buckle for the strap it has roman numerals for your dial markers the strap measures in at seven inches but you could go a little bit smaller than this um excellent condition crocodile straps in two colors you get this like metallic turquoise as well as the matte yellow this is a mechanical hand winding movement on this the dial is composed of mother of pearl on the section over here you get a slab of mother of pearl um oval case shape as you guys can see 9.5 millimeters is your case height the crystal is sapphire on this it is water resistant up to 20 feet and this is from circa 2018 so that is all of your info now let's take a good look at this beauty you guys look at all of these micro pave diamonds all the way around i mean even just the strap is taking my breath away on this imagine if hermes did like metallics for alligator and croc i wish oh my lord but you get the ap signature to the clasp look at this i cannot the side dial you get a pink little sapphire set in there and then it gets better 
because look at the flip side. This is see-through, so you can see all of those amazing mechanical movements. Everything that goes on into making this watch work is fully on display for you to enjoy, for you to show off. Just wow. I just had to bring this. This is like one of the most special watches I've had in in a hot minute but i would love to bring some more ap options for you guys next week but spoiler alert to me this is my favorite of what i have so if you guys are interested if any of my ap girlies are in the house tonight this piece with both straps full set is up and available for 17,200 pounds which is 22,005 us dollars that is an incredible price for an ap if you know you know again the retail on this is 34,500 us dollars so some savings there that concludes my, my three watches the rest of the show will be bags you guys but let me know your thoughts on these watches i think they're absolutely incredible that's just me but wow uh lucy i won't be able to run and grab any watches tonight they're kept in a separate vault in another location in the building um, so I do have to plan ahead to have the watches that I want to show you guys. We keep them super duper safe here, like temperature controlled, everything. So I will be able to bring them on my next watch show. All right. So that is her. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> All right. Now let's keep moseying through some bags today, you guys. I have to start with this Chanel I'm so proud that I got my hands on this. I got it for below retail for you guys. It is stunning. Of course, Lucy, we'll find you your perfect piece, girl. Give me patience, work with me, email me, we'll chat, and I will find something perfect for you. Okay, so let's move into this. Oh my God, it's so stinking good. So now we are going to take a look at 138395, 138395. This is our Chanel Metier d'Art Gold Macrame Calfskin Mini Chanel 22 Hobo. I've never had this. Uh, Lucy, you can just full disclosure, I get so many spam messages on my Instagram daily that sometimes I miss them or it'll go in my requests. Email is always the best bet because I do check them in the office every morning. My Instagram DMs, I'm not checking as often. You can, like by all means DM me, but I'm just saying if you want quicker response and to help me stay a little bit more organized, email is my preferred method. Okay, so this piece is coming with box dust bag, gift ribbon, and care booklet. Shaking some. Delwara, yes. Next, send me an email as well too, please. My next show is going to be a Louis Vuitton show, but next week I can do a full watch show for you guys. And I can definitely find some of those for you. Okay, look at her. <gasps> How insane is this? It's like super, super tightly woven gold metallic leather making up the body of the bag here you have the coin you have the double smaller top handle on this but my favorite part is how the gold chanel hardware logo just matches this bag perfectly again i i don't know how i was able to get this for below retail because if you guys know this is a newer bag from chanel seeing them on the pre-love market is still a little bit rare and i've never seen this i've never seen anyone have this it is in Sane. So the condition is excellent on this. As you can imagine, I would assume this is probably from last year or this year, but the exterior is just a winner, winner, chicken dinner to me. So there's no signs of wear. I was ooing and awing at her earlier. Can confirm. And then you also get the double one chain and one leather strap for crossbody wear as well. So you can either just do her as a top handle and tuck the straps inside or let these two chains hang. And then when you wear the bag as a crossbody, looks a little something like this. So again, for height reference, I am five foot six. So it's perfect crossbody length in my eyes. Thank you, Isabel. Circa 2021 to 2022. So that is a look at her exterior. Let me show you the interior. Again, it does come with its set. So inside you have your microchip with seals still on and you have a fabric. It feels like almost like a satin mix, not as delicate as satin, but kind of has a sheen to it, but a fabric black lining with um, diamond pattern stitching signature to Chanel. To this side, you have one leather pocket as well. And this is in pristine, like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level 
for this piece. So if you guys are interested, do some research, let me know. I think this is incredible and a rare chance to get it for a little below retail. So it is up and available for £6,315 and that is $8,079 US dollars. And that is her, I love her. Okay, let's follow it up with kind of a similar vibe but a very different price point. <laughs> Another, don't fall on me, stay, there we go. Another favorite of today from me is going to undoubtedly be this next pack. Robin, I think you will absolutely love this too if you're still with me. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at 138230, 138230. Another bag I've never had in before, so I'm very excited about it. This is the Prada Natural Raffia Top Handle Triangle Pouch. It comes with its additional strap. It has two straps that you can wear both of them, wear one of them, whatever you want to do. But two straps, dust bag, and yeah. <laughs> so let me show you her. Again, spring, summer is just around the corner, but I think you could even get away with styling this appropriately for fall, maybe even winter, depending on your vibe. But without further ado... I mean, hello? <laughs> so the concept of this bag is taking the signature Prada triangle branding motif and just making it the whole bag, which I adore, but this is done in full raffia. Oh, <laughs> Rafa, this is so dramatic, I love it. <laughs> full raffia exterior with the three dimensional logo details that are raised a bit on the bag. You could wear this both ways so the back of the bag you get a gold and really beautiful like light chocolate brown colorway for your prada hardware triangle there both of the straps are removable let me just show you all sides of the bag to confirm this is in a very excellent excellent condition level but you can wear it with the gold chain as a little shoulder bag as it is it would look a little something like that or you could take the chain have it hang down and then you also get this two-way leather strap so you could have this at a shoulder length as well but you can also unbutton and pull it through like so and then it does become perfect to wear as a crossbody as well i think this is so so chic you also could remove both straps and just rock this as a clutch if you wanted to which looks really cute as well um, it does have a leather zip pull to the top, so let me show you the interior. Best bag included, and then it has the signature Prada lining. Hi, Tina. The three watches I had today were the only watches I pulled. Please shoot me an email with any and all watch requests, you guys. I'm going to do another watch show next week, so I will curate what you guys are after and make sure to bring it for you next week if that's okay. All right, but this has a pristine interior, another like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level bag, I would say for sure, with confidence. So if you guys are interested, such a good price on this one too. This is up and available for 1,765 pounds, and that is 2,259 US dollars. That is her. All right. where to next i'm trying to think what shelf i want to start on today let's start right and then work our way over to the left i think so let's follow it with another chanel bag this next color is amazing i know that red epi someone needs this <laughs> i thought it was immediately gonna fly out for its condition level and for the price point but this is still up for grabs you guys i think this was like 750 us dollars which is insane because it's in pristine condition from 2005 so that is her someone needs her okay so up next i have a boy bag for you guys in a really beautiful color it's going to be 138124 138124 this will be our green quilted lambskin old medium boy bag coming with box dust bag and care booklet This green color reminds me of Grace and Sophie even. Very their vibe, but it is lambskin, ruthenium hardware, beautiful old medium model of the Chanel boy bag. 
So I'll show you guys on the shoulder. This color is so good. I've never had this color. It's like the perfect, it's almost like an army green or maybe like a moody foresty green, if you will. But it is absolutely stunning. Here's a look at the bottom. Really great condition on this. I know, surely we're moving into green. There is going to be some corner wear. I do have to point out all the corners do have some rub. So this would be a good, good piece. Um, the Cartier, the first one, the one with the black strap. Was that? Oh no, that was a must. Are you talking about the tank anglais? Or the must? Let me know. Um, cause the, the gold vermil, the first one that I showed is between 1991 to 1999. The second one I showed is probably more current. I would say, I don't know off the top of my head, but let me know CC which one. Yeah. Okay. That one is from the nineties. We know for sure it's from the nineties. We don't have an exact date, but it is a nineties model watch. Okay. But as I was saying, there is rub to the corners on this piece. But it's still beautiful. I really wouldn't let that hold me back from this. Again, this is a seasonal color. They like we don't make it anymore, assuming since this is the old model. But this is how it looks crossbodied as well. To me, the medium is the perfect size to go for for the boy bag. Not too big, not too heavy, but also not too small. You can fit all you need. So let's dive inside. Pinch to open, and here is a look at your interior. Leather. Let me unstuff this. And it is a fully monochromatic interior, so the fabric lining will match the leather. A couple little marks in here, but these are very surface level. It would be easy to clean those. And this is a 20 series on this bag. So overall, just for the corner wear, I'd probably give this more of like a 7.9 out of 10 condition level piece. But again, keeping in mind, it's the old model. It's coming as it's set. I still think it's a great buy, especially if you're a green girl and the color resonates with you. So she is up and available for 3,380 pounds, which is 4,325 US dollars. Oh, you guys, Isabel is the best. She's so, so helpful and so good at what she does. So give her all the praise always. <laughs> all right, so that was a boy bag. Up next is a super, super fun one. So our next bag is going to be 138430, 138430, and this is our Chanel Navy Quilted Goat Skin, not, oh, thank you, AB, I try, I try, <laughs> not calf skin, not caviar, not lamb skin, but goat skin for this, but it kind of looks like caviar, um, but it is the Rainbow Extra Mini Cocoa Top Handle Bag coming with its box, dust bag, gift ribbon, care booklet, felt protector, and removable strap. So this is a really great, great set as well. I'm going to show it without the strap first. It's been kept in immaculate condition. But look at how fun she is. Forgive me, it has the felt protector currently on it. But this is goat skin, which to me is like... Literally, if caviar and lambskin had a baby, it would be goat skin. It's a little bit more textured than lambskin would be, but it's not quite as bumpy and like visibly bumpy as caviar is. So this is paired with champagne gold hardware. It has this super fun rainbow touch to the top handle. So you kind of get the look of a twilly without the work of a twilly, if you will. But here is a 360 on this piece. It's a super cute, super fun mini bag, but also really practical has four champagne gold hardware on the feet and there's literally no scratches to them either like this has been kept perfectly you guys so excellent condition so far let's dive inside still has seals to its inner hardware and you get more navy goat skin leather to the interior <gasps> the interior color you guys i did not know this until right now <laughs> but the interior color of this is a pop of bubblegum pink. Isn't this incredible, Daniela? Oh my god, as if it couldn't get any better. So the serial code is fully visible. It's a 31 series. You have a larger main compartment to the front here, a pocket in the middle, 
and then your back pocket with a zipper there's still seals on the zip as well so i'm going to not touch it that much but i do want to show what it looks like with the crossbody strap so let me just stuff this back up nice and carefully felt protector back on because she is worthy of that special treatment <laughs> Okay, so let's add the strap so you guys can see what this looks like as a crossbody as well. Actually, I'm not going to add the strap because there's still seals protecting the lobster claws. But essentially, it has a strip of matching navy goatskin um, leather to the top to make it comfortable to wear. And then you get gold, champagne gold chain with the CC on the lobster claws. And that will attach to the top of the bag right here and here. So you can wear it two ways, crossbody, long shoulder drop, or just as a cute little top handle. Excellent condition, literally pristine for this one. So if you guys are interested, this piece is up and available for 4,845 pounds. And that is 6,199 US dollars. All right, Isabel, let me know when you're ready to transition to just pinning everything up. Um, I'll be ready for you. Isabel has to leave a little earlier today, you guys, because of this new time change, time slot difference. So um, I will take over self-moderating in about 20 minutes. Okay, but let's do this Prada bag next. Thank you, Queen. This is going to be 136777. Lucky number 777. <laughs> This is our Prada Black Safiano Small Utility Strap Crossbody Bag, coming with a box dust bag and removable strap from Prada. You guys know how I feel about Prada. You know that I own multiple Prada bags. This is similar to my everyday bag, except for it's a little bit larger and it's full Safiano leather rather than nylon. But here is a look. So the whole body of this bag is done in Prada Safiano leather, which is one of the most durable, low maintenance, well-wearing leathers on the market from any brand, I would say. Me and my experience with Safiano leather has been nothing but positive. I really don't baby my bags. I throw them around. I'm pretty shameless with how I treat my bags, but Safiano leather is built for that essentially. So it has a hand done texture treatment to it and then they do coat it. So it stays super durable and doesn't show wear easily at all. So the whole body of the bag is done in Safiano a 360 look this bag has kind of a larger prada triangle emblem than most so it's a little bit exaggerated front and center there and then it has a adjustable also removable canvas strap that has a matching and removable safiano little pocket here which is similar to the re-edition nylon bag but this is just kind of like it's elevated older sister is how i would describe it it's a little bit more classic classy just a bit more elevated so that's how she looks on super super cute me too ellen that's a great point it does have a specific smell to it which i do also enjoy but that's how she looks on this is literally i can't say it enough because i own the nylon version of this it's a little bit smaller but i use it every single day so the fact that this is a little bit larger but still has the same functionality to it i love it the exterior is pristine and also the canvas strap does say prada all over it so good branding elements there let me show you the inside. You get a big, chunky Safiano leather zip pull with that silver <laughs> hardware. And the interior is all black Prada lining with your inner Prada logo. So pristine condition here as well. Solid 9 out of 10 easily. If you guys are interested, this piece is up and available for £1,575. And that is 2015 us dollars so let me know if there's any questions so far let me know if anyone's thinking about anything so far and we're gonna keep moving all right up next is such a cutie this is one of my favorite cute like to me this is more of an accessory and a vibe of a bag but i love it so let me get the skew this is 131726 131726 and this is our gucci white calfskin ophidia mount wait ophidia round mini backpack there we go this is coming with its dust bag every time i see someone wearing this i just i'm it's the cutest thing in the world so essentially it's the mini ophidia circular silhouette they make this in a couple different like styles but in this case it is the mini backpack so to the back of this you get a section that connects two gold chains which turn into your adjustable backpack straps so this is like a 
on the go running to the coffee shop or to me i see these a lot at theme parks it's a popular choice if you want to be hands free at theme parks not worry about your wallet falling out of your pocket but you just want something small out of sight out of mind this is that girl she is built for that so let me kind of i'm all twisted let me get sorted here to show you so it is adjustable you can do it up quite higher than how it's currently done but you can have it hang low on the back middle of your back or you can even do it up higher i just think it's so stinking cute though so that's how she looks on excellent condition on this also i feel like nothing is really stopping you from putting the straps together like that and then making her into a crossbody if you wanted to wearing it back or front but its exterior is in pristine condition. The white leather has no issues back or front. Here's the bottom as well. And I love, I know, isn't it cute? Is that? <laughs> and I love the white version of any of the Ophidia bags. I love that it has navy and red instead of the traditional green and red. Just feels a little bit more quiet, which I appreciate. So let me show you the interior. There's a great price on this. These retail for a heck of a lot more, you guys, if you're familiar. And it does kind of function like a wallet on back, if you will. So you get the traditional Gucci, like beige suede lining, but then you also get two leather card slots in there as well. So excellent condition on this for a really, really great price. Super, super below retail. If you guys are interested, she's up and available for 645 pounds, and that is 825 US dollars. And that is her cutie. Okay, let's bring out our first Bottega bag of the day. I kind of pulled some more unconventional Bottega bags that I personally really love. I'm hoping someone else out there will be able to appreciate this next one as well. But this is going to be 113922. This is our Bottega Veneta Almond. The color is almond calfskin leather medium point bag this is such a chic quiet luxury like big but lightweight bag to go for so here's how she looks it is a smooth leather bag from bottega but instead of having the signature intricata leather you get the signature triangle detail that they also include as a brand motif but I love the organic movement of this leather. It almost kind of looks like a fortune cookie, <laughs> which I really love, but it's so stinking beautiful in my opinion. So you can wear it just as a little top handle if you want to, but it also comes with this adjustable long strap. So you can do her as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody as well. Looks like that on so more of like a french girl cross as we like to say when it's more up on your torso here's a look at the bottom there are no feet on this but the bottom leather is looking excellent i'm just looking over the corners no corner wear so the only notable wear on this piece which is factored into it being a lower price is this front handle has no issues at all just this back handle along the top edge it has been like hit or dinged or just in general scuffed down so there is a little bit of damage to the handle right there but that is reflective of the price point literally if i hold it like less than a foot back you do not notice it unless you're really up close inspecting it and it is only to the back my advice what i would personally do would be to get a twilly cover it with a twilly or just let it live because no one's really going to notice it but just had to point that out for you guys. So it opens up as like a hinge style. These triangles are magnetic, so they stay closed when it's closed. Open her up all the way. Oh, Asho. Why did I say that like that? Asho. <laughs> also, you can um, pull the strap through if you want it to be longer. So you do have adjustability if you want it to be a shorter strap for your shoulder or make it a full-on crossbody but here's what the interior looks like so it opens up you have a big inner compartment hiding behind these triangles and it is a full-on strip of leather both inside and outside so overall just for that one scratch to the handle 
I'd probably give this more of like an 8 out of 10 condition level, but it looks absolutely stunning. We'll get the price up momentarily. I know this retails, I feel like by the time you pay tax and everything on this from the stores, you're paying like, gosh, I think a little above 4,000 US dollars. So I have this piece up and available for 2,620 pounds, and that is 3,352 US dollars our first Bottega of the day. Let's follow it up with another. <laughs> okay. Another neutral, but if the intricata leather is more of your thing and you're after something smaller, this would be a fantastic option as well. Let me get the skew. And let me know how you guys feel about this new time slot for NYC. I'd love some feedback on it. Do you prefer three to five or is four to six better for you? I'm curious. So this is going to be 133084. 133084. I'm starting to get hot. Please excuse me. This is our Bottega Veneta Porridge. The colors. I always love the name of their colors. So this is Porridge. Um, and it is the Intricata Lambskin Trio Pouch coming with its dust bag and its care booklet. So this is not a crossbody bag, it is designed to be a really chic, very comfortable to wear little shoulder bag. Robin votes 3 to 5, noted. But here's a look, I love the side of the strap, it knots under here so you could make this a bit longer if you wanted to, but you get this really cool gold hardware, kind of like bead detail that hangs down on both sides, little decorative accent. And then the strap is knotted at the top as well. So I will give you one more look on the shoulder. So cute. Now let me show you the condition. Start with this side. Beautiful intricata leather in a super light tan color. Kind of like reminds me of sand, <laughs> if you will. Here's a look at the top where the strap comes through and the bottom so it's in an excellent excellent exterior condition no corner wear nothing to note for this exterior so let's dive inside there are magnetic button snaps down here at the bottom on this side you can see they still have their plastic protectors on it and then the inside you are going to get a pop of smooth leather dust bag is included it's called the trio pouch for a reason because you get Three, actually you get four, technically, interior pockets. So if you're an organized queen, this is a dream for you. Here is what the first pocket looks like, fully lined with leather, no signs of wear. Smells new, it has like a new car smell. Here's the second pocket. The third pocket. And your fourth pocket. So literally no signs of wear to be detected. This fourth pocket is where your inner Bottega Veneta um, brand stamp is I'd give her like a 9.8 out of 10 condition overall and it is up and available for 1950 pounds and that is 2495 US dollars all right let me know if there's any questions I'm gonna put her back nice and safe Boop. Boop. okay so now we're going to move into the middle shelf. Up next, I have two Evelyn TPMs. They're both in black, but I chose to bring both of them because I have one in um, palladium hardware and I have one in gold hardware. So just in case someone's been after, after a black Evelyn and you have a hardware preference, today's your day because you get your choice. So let's start with the first one. Uh, actually, Tina wants a Dior. Let's do the Dior. You're gonna die at this price. Tina, good request. All right, we'll circle back to the Evelyn. Let's bring out the Dior. I also have a non-Lady Dior bag, if that's the one you're talking about, but I'm assuming you mean this bad boy. So let me get this skew. This is going to be 134984. 134984. This is our pink canage lambskin medium lady Dior coming with its care booklet, authenticity card, and its strap. So this is the old style with the zip on top in a color you cannot really get anymore. This is a hot, hot 
kind of like signature Mattel Barbie pink tone to this leather paired with silver hardware. She's absolutely stunning. So there's a 360 look at this piece. Condition level wise, there are a couple notes, but that is going to reflect in this being a absolutely fantastic price point. So hear me out, Tina, anyone else, there is a scuff to the top handle up here. Again, you could take this to a bag cobbler, a specialist with leather, have them touch it up. It should be easy to do. Or you could also hide it with a twilly if it does bother you. The interior of the strap does have a little bit of wear along this area. And the back strap, there's one little mark right here. So a couple signs of wear to the top straps. There is a bit of rub as well along the piping, as you can see. So definitely a good candidate to get spawed. But I still included it just because the price point is so good on this. It allows you that wiggle room to invest in getting this touched up if you want to. Because even from a short distance away, it does not look worn at all. It's just when you're looking super up close, you're going to notice that. So of course, there will be a little bit of hairline scratches to the hardware as well. Although these back pieces still have their seals on them. Bottom of the bag, you get the four feet to protect. Again, same thing. You're going to have some wear along the edges of this piece. But that's... Honestly, the only way you're going to get a Lady Dior under 3000 US dollars nowadays, no exaggeration. So let's throw her on as a crossbody. To me, the medium Lady Dior is as big as I would go to be comfortable wearing as a crossbody. Anything past the medium, I would wear just as a shoulder bag, but you can absolutely still wear the medium crossed like so, or as a shoulder long drop like this. Oh, I love this color though. Okay, let me show you the interior. So as mentioned, this is the old school model. So you get the top zip instead of the more current flap. Inside of this piece, you get a pink canage pattern fabric lining with one inner zip pocket as well. And then your little Dior papers and authenticity card are in there. So overall, it's like a seven out of 10 condition level. It does require a little TLC. If you choose to get it spawed or touched up, that would be my recommendation with the money that you're saving. But if anyone wants to give her a home, bring her back up to speed. This is up and available for just 2,095 pounds, which is 2,681 US dollars. If you know Lady Dior bags, you know that that is a crazy price point for this. It's just crazy. So let me know if there's any questions. If you want to see any of the condition call outs in better detail, just shout it out. But that is her. All right. Now let's go through the Evelyn's. Isabel, let me know if you need to hop. I want to be mindful of you. But if not, let's see up next. We are going to take a look at 138119. Perfect. Thank you, Isa. I can pin this next one. 138119 is going to be the next one. I think that'll be up momentarily. But we're going to take a look at... I can get the price up. I pre-wrote it out because I'm such a prepared queen, you guys. So let me get this price up. Go. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Just shout it out. Don't feel bad. I'm, I'm prepared. But this is our Hermes Black Clemence Leather Mini Evelyn TPM. Oh my god, sorry, I'm choking on air. Take a quick sip of water. <laughs> okay, much better. <laughs> Evelyn TPM 16. This first option is the one that has palladium hardware. As mentioned, I also have it with gold hardware. But this one comes just with its dust bag and strap. The other one will come with its box. So let's start here. Take a look at her ultimate, ultimate classic piece. I think this is as far as the world of Evelyn's go. In my belief, the size 16 in black is probably the absolute number one most requested, most sought after version of the bag. I feel like everyone and their mother dreams of having this in black because it truly matches any vibe of outfit. It is so practical so good for casual just everyday wear 
if you don't want to bring your big Birkin or your Kelly out, but you still want that special touch of Hermes, Evelyn 16 is where it's at. It looks so good cross. You get a really comfortable canvas strap with little leather details in your Hermes house stamp right here. But when you wear this bag crossbody, again, I'm five foot six for height reference. So it hits a little bit below my hip onto my leg, longer cross, super comfortable. Thank you, Isa. All right, so that was the exterior. There's literally nothing to know on this exterior condition. It is good to go. So I'll show you guys the inside. Inside is going to be all black suede, just the opposite side of the leather. And this first one is nice and clean inside. So our palladium hardware option is up now and available for 3,230 pounds, which is 4,132 US dollars. So let me bring out the gold hardware option up next, just in case you're a gold hardware girly like myself. So Isabel's gonna pin the other one. This one is 138165, also Clemence leather, also the size 16, but with gold hardware. And this one comes with its box, dust bag, care booklet, and of course the strap. So a little bit more of a full set here. Strap out. Just gonna add the strap on real quick, you guys. I definitely let me know in the chat which hardware preference you prefer I'm a thousand percent team gold hardware when it comes to black Hermes bags so same bag as last time but you can see the difference in the pop of the yellow gold that you get there <gasps> immaculate taste is a you and me both and on this one the house stamp is going to be done matching in gold as well whereas on the other one it was done in silver but again same size same leather just a little rubbed right off aqua's team gold hardware i'm glad i have gold hardware girlies i feel like we're a dying breed <laughs> but i will forever proudly rep gold hardware forever you guys i don't play with my gold hardware okay so i've already shown you what this looks like on i'm just going to show you the condition of the inside real quick as well but this one pristine pristine clean interior here nothing to know so this one is the same price you guys just wanted to bring you the option just in case thank you isabel you're a doll is a has to head you guys i'm still on for another hour so i will be um check it out yeah yeah, yeah. let me check double check looks good to me <laughs> i think it's good for me thank you isa you're an angel good luck today keep me posted keep me updated and I'll see you later this week. All right, but I'm still on with you guys for an hour, so don't go anywhere or else I will cry. Don't make me cry. <laughs> just kidding. But we still have another hour. Still have lots more bags to go. I'll just be self-moderating for the rest of the show. Okay, right, so I'm just going to keep this nice and safe. Gotcha, no worries. Thank you. All right, bye queen. Drive safe, travel safe. <laughs> All the good things. All right. nice and safe and we'll keep moving guys so let me get this next item pinned and the price up and then i will talk you through it that's how we're gonna roll for the rest of the show give me some hearts let me know you're still with me you guys halfway through give me a boost of mojo <laughs> before i keep going okay we need the mojo <laughs> So this next piece is literally retail fresh. It still has its retail tag on. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. So let me get the price up. Eight, three, eight, seven. All right, so a good grab below retail, but absolutely pristine. This piece is our Gucci Beige Gigi Supreme. Thanks for all the hearts. Canvas small of video tote. Retail tag is still on. Coming as it's set, this has its box care booklet, retail tag, and removable strap all included with it. Literally never been worn. Just a really great classic Gucci option if anyone's been after a really good everyday classic Gucci bag. 
I would a thousand percent point you into going for this one. So it is the Gucci Supreme coated canvas versus the normal canvas, which means it has a kind of like water resistant, more durable coating done on top of the canvas. It's kind of like Louis Vuitton canvas would be, but to me, it's just a little bit more durable, I find, dare I say. But this is paired with shiny gold hardware. You have the classic House Gucci red and green stripe down the middle of the bag. You can wear this crossbody, which I'll demonstrate shortly, but as it is right now, it's a cute, really great size little top handle piece. You get the GG charm as your zip pull, but absolutely pristine. Never been used on this guy. So let me show you the interior. I'll also add the strap if I can. If it's wrapped up, I won't do it. But this actually zips all the way undone, kind of like how a jacket would, which allows you to have a really easy time getting in and out. Okay, I'm not going to add the strap because the clips are still wrapped in their plastic, literally a pristine bag, but you do get a crossbody strap with this as well. And the interior of this bag, you guessed it, completely clean, issue free, two inner pockets, and you can fit a heck of a lot in here. Let me just show you because I feel like this bag looks smaller than it truly is on camera so here is like a standard size iphone thrown in there like you can fit a lot in here i feel like you can get a water bottle some snacks just your whole life basically so let me remember to take the phone out that might be a good idea <laughs> but if you guys are interested again it's a full set box fresh tag has never been taken off, never used. She is up and available below retail for £1,575 and that is roughly 2013 US dollars. That is her. All right, how are we feeling guys? We are two shelves down, one to go. I might be moving accidentally a little bit too fast. <laughs> I was stressed with Isabel having to leave even though I know it was going to be okay, but now I find myself moving a little too fast so I'm gonna calm down slow myself down <laughs> so that we don't end too early okay I'm just gonna zip her back up all right one last look let me know if there are any questions okay, so I'll get the next bag pinned and the price up this is a really fun one up next and under a thousand US dollars. We love that. So up next it is our Fendi Yellow Viteo Fluffy Logo Vertical Box Bag. So this line of bags from Fendi, I feel like it was late 2010s, closer to 2020s, but they essentially had the idea of converting their retail packages, so their boxes, just other known brand elements, and converting them into wearable pieces. It's a really fun vibe. I actually really do love it. So in this case, this is a crossbody bag, but it is a hard structured box meant to look like your Fendi retail box done in the house's signature yellow with black accent detailing. The strap is removable, so you could add your own strap or just keep this around as a little trinket box if you wanted to, but you do get a house yellow and black long strap with this as well. Personally, I love when these brands do something a little bit more fun, unconventional, and like playful. So this is definitely hitting the mark on that for me. But that's how she looks crossed. Exterior condition is pristine. There's no signs of wear. Fully good to go. So to get in and out of this piece, on the top here is a magnet. So it opens up like so and then pulls out like that. And then the inside is all black suede. You have your inner Fendi logo, inner Fendi tag. You can fit an iPhone in here. Still sizable, even though it's an unconventional shape by all means, but per scene condition, really great price on this too. So if you have a more fun, bold style and this resonates with you, I would say absolutely go for it. I love it. But she is up and available for 715 pounds and that is roughly 914 US dollars. That is her. Alrighty, guys. Let's go into Celine next. I love this next Celine bag. The color palette is everything. So it's 
the Nano Luggage. We know her, we love her. Been a really cool colorway for such a good price. This is a neutral girly stream. I hope I have some Celine fans in the house that can appreciate this one. But this is our burgundy, beige, and brown tri-color suede and leather nano luggage bag. Two-way bag from Celine. Just soak up this color palette. It is incredible. I feel like this would be so easy to style. But you get this pop of burgundy suede on both sides of the bag. But it's not too burgundy. It's not giving too much red. It's more of like a brick color. It's the best way I could describe it. Of course, to the front of the bag, you have like a dark, deep, almost like a coffee bean shade of brown paired with this really nice kind of creamy taupe. So just an excellent, excellent tri-color pattern. I know there's a lot of Celine luggage bags that sometimes have a more out there color combo or something that's just a little bit more daring or kind of weird sometimes borderline i've seen some where i'm just like how would you style that but in this case i think this is the perfect perfect pairing of colors so you get the front little zip which is functional but most people just have that for decoration as it is quite a small pocket the front center of the bag to where you get your celine paris mark done in gold leaf and then the back of the bag so exterior wise it looks really fantastic there's some really hard to notice but they are there very minor surface level scuffs but they're only going to show when the light catches it in a very specific way i think to the naked eye you don't really notice it unless you're holding it at like weird angles to catch it in the light the bottom of the bag has a strip of the darkest color of leather which is great so that's going to hide signs of wear longer and the corners look really great on this piece so let me demonstrate as a crossbody so cute i love this one so when worn as a crossbody, again, five foot six for height reference, is on the longer side. Hip bone is probably right at the top of the back. So tall girl friendly, but still in my eyes flattering to everyone. You can remove it. You could add your own strap. You could get creative. I think this would look really good with a thick guitar strap style strap. How many times can I say strap? <laughs> okay, but it does have a full zipper to the top. So let's dive inside now. inside of this piece it's pretty interesting it has that like it has more of like a burgundy tone of leather lining but i love that it's lined in leather so that is what the inside is looking like nice and clean and then there is your inner celine logo to this side with one more pocket all right stuff her back up let me know if anyone likes this colorway and this vibe of this bag or like what your dream colorway of a little luggage bag from celine would be but i really like this one and i'm not even a neutrals girly but i would definitely go for something like this so she is up and available for just 1050 pounds that is such a great price for this and that is 1342 us dollars and it has been rumored i don't know if it's already take an effect if someone out there knows this let me know please but i have heard whispers and rumors that celine is discontinuing this bag and it will no longer be made hi nancy happy tuesday how are you my love welcome on in but yeah i've heard chatter that it's being discontinued if it hasn't already been discontinued so do keep that in mind because this is like a cult classic very beloved silhouette from celine been around for a while it definitely was like a mid 2010s it girl bag but it's still beloved and the fact that it's going to be harder to get your hands on makes it all the more right time to get your hands on one now before the prices do inevitably go up because of the scarcity the rarity and the demand after they are discontinued so let me know if there's any questions you guys but that is her all right so we've done these three let's Oh my gosh, I have to show you. Up next is my favorite, favorite Gucci bag of the day. I love this. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I really am vibing with it. Let's see. Pink beige. And price is killer. This is like practically half of what this would retail for. So let me grab her. I love this very my vibe so prepare yourselves you guys 
but this is our Gucci pink suede and classic um, coated supreme canvas small Dionysus bag with these crazy crystals all over it I love this I love the pop of pink and how it pairs with the tones that the crystals reflect back out at you like ah, it's so good I think the colors of these crystals is just insane it is very very Gucci unmistakably a Gucci bag by all means which I can appreciate I like I would buy this I honestly put this in the show today and I was like should this be my wedding bag like she's cute she matches my vibe and the color palette of my wedding I was like wait I kind of love her so I I don't know this is like my child of all of the bags of today I've adopted this one as my child because I love it so much <laughs> sorry guys I'm a nerd with bags if you can't already tell I get emotionally attached to them but you can pull the strap through like so to convert this to be a crossbody or long shoulder strap which I like the look of a lot let's experiment with her cross it's gonna give French girl cross vibes actually I really like it okay I'm not mad at it personally I prefer to wear my bags with shoulder bags but you can get away with this as a crossbody I love this one Oh, it's so pretty okay so the Dionysus does fetch a lot more for retail and it is signature style it has this double tiger head hardware motif to the front clasp hence the name but i do just want to give you guys a good solid look at the condition level of this no corner wear to this side the pink suede is all clean on the edges and no corner wear to this side either all the crystals are fully there there's no crystals missing she is fully good to go so the exterior of this is giving excellent condition so let's dive inside next all right so you just push on the dionysus like this to open and it'll pop open it has multiple compartments inside but on this case you get full pink suede so let me just unstuff it real quick i feel like i'm selling myself on this pack it's so good all right so there is how she looks unstuffed with the suede there is just going to be a little bit of like different colors from how the flap sits so the suede gets exposed to the elements more so it will be prone to getting a little bit lighter quicker but there she is open and of course the mark from the hardware but this is actually its own pocket underneath here so you get kind of a hidden compartment if you will so that is your first front pocket there And then the overall interior of the bag, it's split down the middle with a zip pocket. So you get pink suede here, pink inner Gucci tag, front compartment here, and then your zip compartment. Down the middle is lined with the um, Supreme coated canvas. So overall, I'd still give this like a nine out of 10 condition level. I've absolutely sold myself on it. If I was gonna buy a bag today, this one would be coming with me to party hard for my wedding. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Okay, anyways. Excellent condition, fraction of the retail price. This is 1,665 pounds, and that is 2,100 and roughly 29 US dollars. So pretty. Okay, one last ooh and ah at her. Let me know your thoughts. Is it too much for you? Is this not your guys' vibe? Or can you appreciate it? Because I sure can. I love her. Okay. I have one more Dionysus option up next, so I'll show you that. Let me get it pinned. Let's see. Just gonna take a quick sip of water. My computer just froze on me, so give me one second. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got the white one. Let me try again. Boop, boop. There we go. Okay. So the white calf skin. Here we go. And honestly, there's not a big price jump between these two bags, which to me, like this one is only like. 200 ish dollars cheaper than the special edition larger one 
not to discredit this bag it's still absolutely worth that and it still retails for a heck of a lot more but if i were you if i was considering a dionysus bag today between these two i would pay the extra 200 something dollars and just go for this one but that's just me <laughs> okay so next this is a different size this is the white calfskin small i think that one's mistakenly called a small but it's actually a medium so this is the true small dionysus shoulder bag and this one does have a longer strap so the smaller model is more appropriate for crossbody wear compared to the medium but you can wear it doubled up on the shoulder like so it's full on white calfskin to me it's a little bit more off-white like an eggshell color paired with this really pretty deep royal blue enamel in the Dionysus hardware to the front. But you will see that in the smaller model, you can pull through and you get a much, much longer strap for this size. So it looks a little something like that worn as a crossbody. Again, five foot six, the hip bones are like right here. So onto the leg. All right, let me show you the condition of this. start on this edge nice and clean leather i love the hardware really pretty pop of blue subtle pop of color but still overall a very neutral easy to style bag so look at the back it is totally clean all over and our corners nowhere detected here's the bottom and nowhere detected over here either so another excellent condition exterior I forgot to note that on the Dionysus, you do get the Gucci logo embossed to the back center of the bag. All right, so let's dive inside of this one. Push it open, pops open like so. Same color, white leather for the interior. This bag is included, so let's start with the front pocket underneath this inner flap. All white with the classic Gucci canvas lining. Then the main compartment, this one is just one single main compartment. No bells or whistles, no pockets. It's a little bit more simplified, but there's no signs of wear in here either. So I'd also give this one overall like a nine out of 10 condition level. Those are my two Dionysus options. Let me know in the chat, you guys. Don't be quiet on me. Now that it's just me, I need extra chatter. If anything, I would appreciate it. But let me know, are you team small white? Or are you team medium bling? Which one is more your vibe? Just for fun, let me know. And I'm gonna bring a couple more options before we move into recaps. Right, let's do another Bottega bag next. So this next color is called Rain Tree, which I think is really pretty and it definitely reflects that. I love this piece. So this is the chain pouch bag from Bottega, another cult classic beloved bag. Hi! Oh my gosh, I forgot about Ramadan, you guys. To those of you who are taking part in Ramadan, celebrating, doing your fasting, I would like to wish you a very happy, blessed, and very just lucky, good time this Ramadan. Sending you all my love and good vibes. That totally makes sense. Thank you for bringing that update. I'm sure your gas tank is low. I can only imagine. I was talking to my friend Hassan. Um, they're my friend. They work at the same tattoo shop my fiance does. And I was talking to Hassan about how they were preparing for Ramadan because Honestly, before I work, this is just like a personal note, you guys, sorry, but we have the time for it. But on a personal tangent, before I worked for Luxury Promise, being in America, I really wasn't exposed to Ramadan celebrations and the cultural things that happened during Ramadan as much as I am now. Last year, when I came on board with Luxury Promise, all the girls taught me about it and I just found it to be so beautiful and admirable. And then... Um, but yeah, I was talking to my friend Hassan about them preparing for Ramadan. And there's so many things that you guys have to do that I did not even consider. Like for them, 
outside of Ramadan the rest of the year, they drink a lot of coffee, like a lot of coffee, multiple cups of coffee a day. And then when Ramadan comes around, like that's literally caffeine withdrawals. Like that is not fun to go through, but you guys do it for such a beautiful reason and you're so strong for doing it. And the girls that still come to work, even though they're participating in Ramadan, I just admire it so much. So overall, happy Ramadan. Thank you for the reminder. And I hope you have a very, very good Ramadan this year. All right, Mel. Yeah, I, I hadn't ever considered that. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I could not, like that is crazy. It requires such strong willpower, which I just think is so admirable. And Mel wants to know, Chanel box behind me is this bag. I already took the bag out. I have her for below retail. This is a special version of this piece. It is beautiful. So let me know if you want a recap on this. Happy to do it. It's pristine, below retail. But first, let's talk about this pouch, you guys. So this is a very, as you can hear, high quality, heavy in the best way possible, super thick chain top strap in yellow gold from Bottega Veneta. But if you guys aren't familiar, you actually are able to undo the strap. And I've seen people convert the strap to be like the craziest necklace or just use it in other ways. Of course, Mel. Um, but the strap is removable, which allows you to just carry it as a simple leather clutch as well. But also, I've always liked the look of carrying it as a clutch with the chain. It's just like really quintessential cool girl vibes in my eyes. But this color is called Rain Tree. So it's a super deep, moody, beautiful shade of dark green. Kind of like an emerald tone, just a little bit deeper. Really love it. This is like the shade of green that I would probably paint a kitchen with. <laughs> And I mean that as a compliment, but this is just a simple pull apart open pouch. So let me unstuff it real quick. It comes with its Bottega dust bag. Clean and pristine full leather interior on here. Nothing to note. Excellent condition overall. And this piece is up and available for 2,815 pounds. And that is 3,500 and roughly 99 us dollars so i just have two more bags after this and then we will call recap with you guys so hang tight but i hope you have enjoyed so far all right let's get this next bag up one more dior bag for the day much less a denim dior bag i hope you guys are ready oh is it just the one side let me look let's see oh you're right why would they do that? Well, I'm thinking of another bag then where it is fully removable. But thank you. So don't quote me, guys. As T has pointed out, one side of the bag, you cannot remove the strap. Honestly, me being impulsive, I would just cut this little loop off. But don't take my advice. But that's what I would do if this was my bag. Oh, but then you couldn't reattach it. Just kidding. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Earlier when Isabel was still here, she knows my brain today is just not, not all there, but that's okay. So that is her. All right. Okay, let's do this denim Dior up next. D, okay, I'm glad it's not just me because that was my first impulsive thought. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm not alone on that. <laughs> All right, this next bag is gorgeous. I've never had this in before. It's pretty current. But up next, we have our two-way, absolutely stunning Christian Dior navy floral denim medium caro chain bag. So this is a full-on denim bag. You have that signature. I always forget the number and it's hard to see on this, but you have the address of the house subtly there. It's like a three-dimensional peeking out of the pocket as most of the Caro bags have, but it's full on dark wash denim with this beautiful floral, very subtle print. It's not in your face floral by any means from afar. It does just look like a full on dark denim bag, but I really do appreciate that extra design detail there. So this is two way. As it is right now, you can have the chain doubled up. Again, you get that signature little CD link style chain in yellow gold, which is so beautiful. But you are able to pull that through. You get a really cool little adjustability feature here that does say Christian Dior. 
couple spots to adjust, but when you pull it through, you are able to convert this to be a crossbody as well. It looks a little something like so. This is like my ideal, perfect, perfect crossbody length. Such a classy bag. I really love this one. All right, and then pulling the strap through, I also really like the like almost industrial style um, loops that are at the top to allow the strap to go through. They're done in full on yellow gold and just a really nice extra detail. So this is in a pristine condition level. There is no corner wear, nowhere on the bottom, nowhere anywhere, and it's a very low maintenance bag, granted that it is denim. But to the front center, you get the big, bold CD yellow gold um, hardware, and that's also how you get in and out of the bag. As you guys can see, it is still covered in its plastic seals, so excellent, excellent, pristine condition confirmed on this. So to get in and out, you just pull this little knob over like so, and then that allows you to lift up the top flap. That is how it looks on the inside. Look at this beautiful pattern in the denim. I love this one. Okay. So the inside of the bag, pristine, and it's just going to be the unpatterned dark wash denim for the entire inside over here. So you get one open concept pocket here, one zip pocket here, and this little zip tassel has a gold CD initial at the end also still wrapped in its plastic. So like a 9.8 out of 10 condition level overall is what I would give this piece. I've never had something like this in, so it really excited me yesterday when I came in. But she's up and available for 3,665 pounds, and that is roughly 4,685 US dollars. So up next, I have one more bag and then we will be calling recaps. So stick tight guys, wanna make sure I answer all of your questions before I hop off for the day. But I have one final Bottega bag, and yes, this is pretty much the mini version of the larger one that I showed earlier. These look really cute together, actually. Okay, let me talk through this one. I'm gonna get her pin to get that price up. Oops, I pinned the, gosh, I tell you, my brain does not work. That's why, this is the one that uploaded without pictures. So if you guys want to see pictures, they are there, just then upload onto here. So if you click the icon down below, there are all pictures of this bag there for you. Okay. Boop. Great price on this one, super below retail. So this color is called Peachy, for good reason. But this is the small version of the point bag. Color is peachy. It's the same vibe as a larger one where you get really organic structure of just all smooth calfskin leather with a structural accent for the triangle top handle slash closing mechanism. This one is definitely more suited for crossbody, I would say. So it does have the signature Bottega tie at the top here. It is adjustable. And then here is how she looks like on really cute color and a really good like quiet luxury everyday piece so this one i would definitely say is in a better condition level than the larger one very small amount of corner rub like very very small and honestly it's only on this side of the bag so super super minor corner rub over here but this one does not have any detectable wear or issues to these top handles unlike the last one so let me open her up same thing, magnetic feature in those triangles there. And again, you just get a full on, ooh, comes with retail tag as well. All right, but it has a full on smooth leather interior with no signs of wear detected. So if you guys are interested, this is the last bag of the day and she is up and available for 1,285 pounds and that is 1,642 US dollars. And this one retails for 2,250 US dollars. So some great savings there. That is our last new arrival of the day, you guys. So you know what that means. <laughs> It is now the time to let me know if you have any final questions, any recap requests, 
anything I can help with while I am still here, let me know. I'm going to take you off of the ring light, flip you around, and give you one last look at all of the pieces we had today. I'm very, very shocked that no one got the Louis Vuitton shawl, that no one got this crazy deal of a bag. This was... I thought that would fly out of here, honestly. But still some amazing, amazing pieces to be had. So let me know. And again, we had the Palladium hardware and the gold hardware version of the Evelyn 16 TPM. We had these incredible watches. Louis Vuitton wallet, the shawl, this bag. Ugh, I wish you guys could see it in person because the gold is just so pretty. I think, I mean, it's still pretty on camera, but in person, it's just another level. It's literally magical. And our little Fendi, our Barbie pink Lady Dior, the Celine. I'm also shocked that this Prada is still here. Ugh, my favorite bag of the day. <laughs> and all these little guys. So let me know if there's any questions on these. You guys have me for a little bit longer. I'm going to drop my email and my Instagram just in case you guys need it. I will be checking emails um, tomorrow. Admittedly, you guys, tomorrow I'm going to be swamped. I have a lot of stuff to do on the back end outside of obviously being on shows with you. But yeah, I have a lot to do tomorrow. But I'll try to answer my emails to the best of my ability. If not, a thousand percent Thursday morning I will be answering. Um, you'll see me tomorrow. I'm moderating both Kristen and Trudy in the afternoon. So I believe that's going to start at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Kristen. And then 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Trudy. And then I'll be back on Thursday with a full Louis Vuitton show. I forgot to put my email before I keep yapping. <laughs> Let me get this down. All right, so just in case you guys need to reach me, that is my contact info now conveniently pinned for you. But yeah, Thursday's gonna be a full Louis Vuitton show. So do email me if you have any specific Louis Vuitton bags you're after so I can make sure that I can include them if I have them. But from what I've selected so far, it's going to be a really fantastic show. So I hope to see you guys again on Thursday. Friday, you'll see me moderating Trudy again, and then I'll be back with my jewelry show on Saturday, also at a new time this week. Saturday's jewelry show will be from 2 to 4 p.m. instead of 1 to 3 p.m. So do keep that in mind. This week is like a transition period for all of us, but it'll get back to normal within the next coming weeks. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. All these bags will be left live on the website. You guys can get in contact with me if you're still thinking about anything. And from now until 6 p.m., if I do see any orders come through, thank you, Ida, I appreciate it so much. If I see any orders come through, I'll still make sure that your customs and your duties are covered, and I will ensure that it will ship out from New York City tomorrow for you. So I think I've covered all bases. Is that even a word? I've covered all bases. There we go. I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to head home, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your night. I will see you tomorrow. And thank you so much for taking the time to join me on my show today. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Bye for real now. Bye.